Testing one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, how you going guys? It's Baby MacGyver here. Uh, what we're going to have a look at today is how to diagnose 510 problems. So, say you've got a mod and all you're getting is check atomizer or even atomizer short. Uh, and we want to just get in there and have a look, see what's going on. Okay, so you want to do this on a device that's out of warranty. Uh, if you've got warranty on your device and you're getting these errors, obviously just get in contact with your vendor. Um, there's no point getting getting into your device and possibly messing something up if it's under warranty. That's what it's there for and, and uh, yeah, I reckon use it. Um, okay, so let's just say you've, you're have obviously getting check out atomizer errors and you've tried it with uh, lots of different atomizers or at least a couple of different atomizers and you're getting the same error. Just want to double check, just make sure that it's not actually the atomizer, not a, a dud coil or a, a short something going on with your build. Um, if you can use the atomizer that's giving you the error on a different device as well, just confirm that works properly. Okay, so say that you've you figured out for sure something wrong with your device, all you're getting is errors and you, you can't fire it. So pretty simply the 510 is it's just a, a negative which is the outside metal area and a positive which is the the inner uh, pin or sort of pad that's in there quite simply these just go back to the the main board in this is obviously we're talking about regulated mods so this is uh, not applicable to mech mods so all this has to do is get connection from your atomizer back to the board that's its only function pretty much every 510 is spring-loaded these days so there can be problems with that mechanism we'll go into that a bit more in a second okay so you'd want to just have a search to see if um, there's a disassembly guide for the device you're pulling apart that can make it a lot easier to get going um, if there's any hidden screws or tricks to getting it apart this one in particular the the Tesla uh, Y W <laughs> W Y E I don't know how to pronounce it Y um, 200 easy very easy it's just four screws so just going to use this one to demonstrate uh, so I've already taken the screws out uh, so we just pop the tray out and pretty easy to figure out where the wires and connections are on this device at least uh, so you'll see we've got going from the 510 positive in the middle there we've got a red wire going back to the board and the black wire going from the board is soldered onto a little tag which is contacting this outer metal part so yeah dead simple there's your negative there's your positive okay now to test it well first of all a, a multimeter is great to have uh, you can pick one of these up really cheap like a ten dollar meter will do the trick for this you don't need anything fancy at all uh, we're basically just going to be measuring continuity so we're going to be measuring uh, a connection or connections for the the positive and negative we're also going to be measuring if there's a short across the two which we don't want so first of all you can do a visual just have a look to see if the wires are in good condition there's nothing um, nothing broken or frayed wires or uh, solder joints come loose obviously now this device is pretty new so I know everything's in good condition here we can see that uh, yeah wires fine nothing uh, no insulation damaged or anything weird going on but that doesn't mean um, doesn't mean there's not a problem with the 510 itself as I was talking about with the spring loaded pin there's the the positive pin is separated by a little insulator in there and a spring so if something's come adrift in there the ins insulator is broken uh, there may be a short going from like the, the setup pin might be touching the outer uh, negative and that would give you a, an atomizer short error um, now we can test that pretty easy with a multimeter so I'll show you what to do going to go around to ohms function so every meter is going to have an, an ohms function it's one of the basic basic multimeter functions what I like to do before testing anything is touch the leads together and make sure your leads and your meter is working properly so with with leads shorted you're going to see zero or sometimes you'll see sort of 0 0.1 0 0.2 but pretty well pretty well zero uh, we can confirm that meters working easy not going to be chasing our tail and um, getting false reading it does happen sometimes these are loose or you know something's going on so best to check okay easy now what we want to do 
we want to measure from the board itself right on on the board to right at what would touch your atomizer which is that pad there so I'm gonna go from there make sure not to be touching the outer negative part and touching the positive there and we're getting a zero reading so it's good that means that's connected so that's fine do the same thing with the negative go straight from the board there on that solder point there you can go anywhere on the the metal top cap here it's all going to be connected and again we're seeing point 0.1 pretty well 0 0.1 so that's good that's connected as well easy <coughs> okay next thing to do test for shorts and again right back at the board we can just go across the positive and negative get a reading now on this mod it's going to be actually like this on every regulated mod you will see some resistance there because it's actually measuring back through the circuit board but it won't be anywhere near uh, zero in this case it's 4.2 kilo ohms which is yeah 4200 ohms so very far from a short circuit but not completely open circuit either so that's fine that's good um, if you're seeing say anything less than um, well it should like it should be high like that it should be sort of in the, in the kilo ohms region if you're anywhere below say 100 ohms yeah you've got to suspect something's going on with the 510 um, now the next thing you want to do is actually press down on the 510 pad while you're measuring it it's going to be a little bit tricky uh, but what could be happening is if that insulator is broken inside and you can't see it it may only give you a problem when that pins pushed down and of course when you go to screw an atomizer on it's pushing that that down so measuring it without an atomizer may may not show the fault okay so what we'd want to do what we're going to do we're going to test uh, we're testing for a short in this case so we'll go from the negative onto the positive and we should get the same reading we got before about uh, 4.2k just wait till that stabilizes yep about 4.2k now I'm going to press down on that pin and I can see the pin moving so I know I'm pressing it down you can like don't need to press it down super super hard but you probably want to press it down until it reaches yeah pretty well the bottom of its travel where, where it just doesn't want to go any further don't force it but you'll feel it when it gets sort of firmer at the bottom there and exactly the same so that's not changing at all which is fine even give it a little wiggle just kind of simulate that pin moving around I'm not seeing any shorts so that's good um, so that's basically how to diagnose it it's a pretty simple system so you, you can think of this as a loop going out of the board from the positive through the middle pin into your atomizer through your coil and then from the negative of the atomizer which is normally the whole body and the and the threading uh, threading on the 510 onto there and then back to the board so it's just it's just one loop so we want to make sure sort of just to recap we want to make sure there's no breaks in the positive side no breaks in the negative side and nothing shorting across these two okay so actually repairing the connection um, I could probably do that in another video uh, would probably involve some soldering or possibly replacing a 510 depending on what mod you know some are easier these this one's quite accessible um, some are easier some are difficult so that's kind of a different video but at least if you open up and you have a look uh, especially if you test it you can get an idea of what's going on um, the last thing here though is if you've tested these with the multimeter and everything tests completely fine um, and then you know your atomizer is fine it's not shorted or open and you still get check atomizer errors no matter what that's probably a board issue um, so there's not going to be a great deal you can do about that these are really really not repairable even if you've got a lot of equipment that's it's pretty difficult to diagnose and and actually repair these um, so at that point like the cost of these devices you probably wouldn't you wouldn't bother if you've eliminated tested all this definitely not 510 all the wiring's fine definitely not your atomizer something going on with the board pretty well don't bother just get a new just get a new mod uh, that's the way to go i think okay
uh, all good. Catch you next time. Cheers.